boys and girls. This is the Tone King coming at you live from the Tone Lounge. Up here late. I think we're Friday night about uh, midnight over here on the East Coast from New Jersey to be exact. And I have something special for you here today as always. Uh, what I have here today, this is a, this is a BC Rich. And uh, for all you people out there that have been following my videos, it's no uh, secret that I'm a BC Rich fan. And this one here, this here is a Warlock. Okay, let's see if you can see that in there. This one here is a Warlock, and this one is a, a Kerry King Signature Series Warlock. Uh, there's a, BC Rich has a couple of versions of this, uh, some bolt-on versions. Uh, this one here uh, is the uh, the mothership or flagship or whatever it is that you want to call the the mother of all B, uh, Kerry King Warlocks offered by BC Rich today, uh, and I have that one here today. There's a lot of real cool little things on this one that I want to share with you, especially uh, if you like Warlocks. Okay, um, Let's face it, Warlocks have been around for a long time, and when I think of a Warlock, believe it or not, um, you know, Kerry King, uh, this is, uh, you know, as I said already, this is a signature series, but if you uh, pick up any of these magazines from the 80s, you see uh, Motley Crue using Nikki Six. Uh, using Kerry, uh, not Kerry Kings, uh, using Warlocks. Mick Mars using Warlocks. I mean, there's so many people. Lita Ford used a Warlock. There's so many people out there that actually used Warlocks. This one is, uh, you know, tried and true. It's a tried and true design. Um, uh, you know, and uh, this this right here is the latest and greatest rendition of the Warlock. And you know, BC Rich didn't spare uh, on the details here because it's all it's all in there. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, so the first thing we have uh, for the player, this is this is tremendous. Uh, we have built in. This is stock. Okay, we have an EMG 85. We have an EMG 81, which right here probably the most common, or one you know not the most, but one of the most common setups you know in repair shops around. So you're looking at a you know a good two two to three hundred dollar you know uh, uh, parts and labor. Um, modification uh, that a lot of people put on their guitars and this one comes built in right here okay um, not only that but this one picks up where a lot of the other ones leave off because this one has the EMG PA2 preamp okay what that does is and it's just an on off switch uh, this is 20 decibels a gain and that gives you bite so if you uh, if you ever had an old amp like an old JCM 800, which is actually what I'm plugged into here, but an old amp or even a high gain amp, and you want that extra bit of bite, okay? Typically, you throw an overdrive pedal in front of it. With this guitar, all you do is flick this switch up, and you get 20 decibels of gain. Okay? I actually had uh, my in one of my old guitars, and this is literally going back probably about 15 years ago. The same setup. Um, in the EMG 81 and 85 and the PA2. So this is, although this is a new guitar offered by BC Rich, this is uh, this is some tried and true hardware here. Uh, actually, I can't see that. Tried and true hardware here that's been around probably, I, I, I'm going to say at least 15, 20, 15 years, 15 to 20 years. Uh, but BC Rich got it right. Um, they took, you know, tried and true hardware, they loaded it up. And again, you have one of the best mods out here built into the guitar. Okay, so this one here, the PA2 is a little secret. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tremendous, you know, benefit to have that. And again, you'll see some other guitars out there that have the 81 and the 85. Not too many, but there are a few. But this one here will save you from having to throw that pedal in, you know, in front of the amp for that extra bit of bite. So what else do I like about this guitar? This one has a Kaler. Okay, uh, you'll see, you know, uh, again, I'm th these. You could take these statistics, you could take them all leaving them, making them up off the top of my head, but I have to say, you know, you walk into any guitar store, all you see is Floyd Rose. I'd want to say, you know, high 90%. Well, actually, you know, you could probably break it down and say, you have your tunematics, you have your, your stock bridges, you have your, you know, your, your traditional, you know, uh, tremolo type of systems. But if you're going to look for some sort of advanced tremolo system, Typically, it's Floyd Rose. Let's face it. You walk into a music store, what do you see? You see a Floyd Rose. And I'm not going to say anything bad about Floyd Rose. I have a lot of guitars that have a Floyd, and they, they, they work. And if you could get the hang of tuning them, they're great tremolo systems. But you know what? I don't eat the same thing for dinner every night. I'm sure you don't eat the same thing for dinner every night. So if you want something different, this one right here is the way to go. And BC Rich, I'll tell you what, with this guitar, even though it's a new guitar, signature series, the whole bit, they stay true to a very original design. If you uh, if you look, uh, you know, it's some of like the older vintage BC Rich guitars. You'll find you'll find Kalers on them. Okay, so 
you know, new guitar with uh, tried and true, you know, electronics, uh, tried and true hardware. And you know what? It's different. It's different than a lot of the other stuff you'd find out there. So if you're a Warlock fan, if you pick up a Warlock and feel like I felt when I was 15 years old, which you're on top of the world, you know, um, th this is this is this is this is a good choice right here. Okay. Again, uh, you know, and and listen, this this varies from person to person. But if you want, you know. Great electronics, uh, not only great, but a different bridge, the Kayla bridge with the built-in preamp. This is a killer design, okay? I'll tell you what, the pictures on the internet don't do this a whole lot of justice. Uh, let me see if I could actually get some close-ups on the camera. But the, the finish is, this is like a very deep, rich red uh, over a, a nice gloss black. It's, it's actually a tremendous finish. I'm really enjoying that. Okay, some, uh, some other things about this guitar, okay, so we have the pickups, we covered the bridge, we covered the preamp. Check this headstock out, it's a wicked headstock. Okay, got a nice headstock. We have, um, we have Grover tuners, okay, um, but one of the nice things about this, which I noticed right away as soon as I put this guitar in my hand, was the neck, okay. I'm going to see if I could get a close-up on this. Let's see what I could do here. This is an ebony neck and it's finished. Okay, let's see if I can separate that. It looks like a sheet of glass. Okay. Typically, all necks, whether it be rose, except maple, uh, rosewood, even ebony on, and I have some guitars in my personal collection, okay, um, that, you know, a nice ebony neck, and it looks like Swiss cheese, okay. This one is finished and polished, and I noticed that right away. And you want to know something? That's there for the player. Because when you play the guitar, it feels like butter under my fingers. And I like that. I also like that these are real abalone inlays. Okay, let's see if you could see that. Um, it just adds, it's, it's wicked, but not overdone. Okay? So you have the neck, which is, again, it's, it's, um, it's ebony, it's finished, and it feels really nice under my fingers. So as a player, this right here, this piece, the neck, that's for me. The body, in my opinion, yeah, that's for me too. But you know what? This is a stage guitar. When you're on stage, you sound good, you look good, especially if you're going for that image. This is, this is a short shot way to go, okay? Not only that, but this one here, like I said from the beginning of the video, this one here is the mothership of all the Kerry King Warlocks. This one here, I have a strap on. Let me pop that strap off. Hang on one sec so I can flip this around. But this one is neck through. And notice I said neck through, not set neck, okay? A lot of companies out there will basically take the neck. Let's see if you can see that. Take the neck, you know, butt it up against the body. It'll go in an inch or two. They glue it. And, you know, they sand it down. It's a set neck. This is neck through. That means the piece of wood from here, you see that? The piece of wood from here goes all the way down. It's the same piece of wood that ends right down over here. So what does that mean? It means sustain. It means tone. So the, the, the headstock, the tuners, the locking nut, okay, the pickups, the bridge, it's all mounted on the same piece of wood, okay? So what do you get? You get, uh, you know, a quality built uh, guitar, okay? Um, again, they, they, like I said, I can't, I, you know, I feel like a broken record here, but they, they, they definitely, uh, you know, covered all bases here. Premium hardware, premium electronics, Grover tuners, neck through, not set neck, and not only that, but this is black guitar, so it might be tough to see. I could put my hand here. It's actually shaved off down here. I could put my hand around and watch this. I'm just, I'm actually over all the frets. So they definitely had the player in mind when they built this guitar. That's about it, boys and girls. You tell me what you think. Uh, I, I think it's a great guitar, okay? You tell me what you think. As always, please leave comments. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so to see some uh, new reviews. And let me know what you think. So here we go. Uh, BC Rich, Kerry King, directly into a vintage JCM 800, just like Kerry King used to play.